All right, guys, I just want to make another video uh, going over the steps and the basic principles of building a solar generator. So last video, I just kind of showed you the finished product, and I'm going to show you uh, how to build one. But first, let's go over the basic components. All right, this is where your power is coming from. 12-volt battery. How are you going to charge the battery? Here's the solar part, 10-watt uh, solar panel. You can get these on eBay for 30 to $40. This is a 10-watt. You can see it's pretty small. Um, it's about... 13 inches. Um, if you get an anamorphous panel, black one, it's going to be way too big. It's not going to be portable. So, um, before we talk about capacities, it really doesn't matter at this point. These are all modular. You can swap sizes. So, all right. Solar, solar panel charges battery. You know, this is a 12 volt system. You're going to buy a 12 volt battery. Most solar panels are 12 volts. Um, all right, got your solar panel, got your battery. Can't overcharge the battery because it'll damage the battery. You know, we want to keep this thing going a long time. So get yourself a charge controller. Uh, this is a 10 amp model. This is one of the cheaper ones. Um, this is, I think you can get them for under $20 if you find a good one on eBay. Um, this is 10 amp. That's kind of this smaller. So you can get smaller ones. But the price was what I was going for here. This is this panel doesn't even put out half an amp. So um, just get yourself a basic charge controller. Um, and you can see here, this pretty much explains the whole project right here. You got a picture of a solar panel, positive, negative. Picture of your battery, positive, negative. And this light bulb represents the load. So we may or may not use that. Um, some s charge controllers can shut off the load if the battery gets too low but don't don't even worry about that now see look basically you got four connections right your solar panel connects your battery through this charge controller so that's the that's pretty much that's the solar generator right there but you want to use the power right somehow so I'm probably going to include a uh, some kind of an inverter so there's your inverter um, we'd connect this to the battery and so that's, I mean, that's the basic thing. And when I show you mine, you're going to see a lot more wires because there's three switches involved, right? There's a also a voltmeter. So um, it just looks more complicated than it really is. So when you I think when you whittle it down on these basic components, it's pretty simple. All right. Here's the solar power pack, the version one inverter, voltmeter, charge controller. Turn on. So there's a main power switch here. Voltmeter. Let it stabilize. So the battery's not full. Inverter comes on separately. I'll show you the inside. So that was already loose. A little piece of wood. Okay, so there's the heart of it. The uh, eighteen amp hour, twelve volt gel cell battery. You can see, there's tons of empty room here. Um, this this thing sits so high just because the battery is see it takes up that much room um, this is kind of pretty messy but it, it's very functional um, had a Xantrix inverter 100 and 100 watt I believe so it's a smaller one um, but I picked it because it's very efficient it has a tiny little fan that only runs if it needs to and so I'd, some of the cheaper bigger inverters just run a fan at high speed so it really wastes a lot of power um, whether it's hot or not so I, did, I wanted to avoid that at least in this prototype um, but I'd like to get a little bigger one so anyway I'll go over the wires this is the voltmeter you see there's a switch here that turns it on and off this particular one needs an external power source so that's what this 9 volt is there's, there's a lot of options there so I won't go in too much into it basically this is probably the most important point. 
This is the on off switch for the main power so you can see it's fused directly to the uh, positive connection of the battery here so when this switch is off nothing is connected to the battery so it kind of just, just deactivates everything and if there's a problem this fuse will blow so I just kind of want to separate the battery from everything else um, and then it looks like there's a lot of wires here but you know 12 volt wiring is really easy there's only you know black and red so here's a little primitive buses that I use to connect um, a bunch of blacks and a bunch of reds and then this has like four wires so it really looks like there's more going on here than there is um, this inverter has a wire so it, so I just I put a switch in line with the power um, and you know it's, it's pretty it's pretty easy I'll post the wiring diagram for you guys to follow and um, and like I said these charge controllers really just explain it you know they right here solar panel positive negative battery positive negative load positive negative this particular one I'm not using the load part of it because this is a lighting controller in one mode so it, it the way it works is not perfect for my use it it will like turn itself off after four hours or if it's if the solar panel is detecting light then the light will the power will go on and it's not what I need to do so I just I'm running the power straight off the battery this one was kind of cool it had a temp sensor because um, the different temperatures the battery um, voltage is sensed differently so it helps to get a full charge at more temperatures but anyway that's how I uh, I made this solar pack and I'll, I'll post the wiring diagram and a link below link to my website all right thanks for watching